Hi, welcome to Glenn Meditation. Today I'm going to talk on a sort of an interesting subject. If you have Parkinson's or you know someone with Parkinson's. Um, I make videos on trying to heal Parkinson's naturally. I don't use uh, pharmaceuticals. I use natural products and try the various methods and I report on my results. Today I'm going to talk about um, a research study that was done where they found some ringworms and they gave them a product um, called, it's a probiotic called Bacillus subtilis and they noticed that the worms improved when they were given this probiotic so I thought I'd go out and try it and um, I didn't even know that worms could get Parkinson's but I guess they induced it in the worms and then just tried to solve it I guess. And I went in and I found this one that had a particular strain it was $54 and it had 0.6 parts per million and um, after taking it I started noticing changes in my brain where I was processing stress more easily and um, could be also attributed to other factors I'm not sure I'm just experimenting and I do many things so I'm not saying this particular thing works but I did notice when I started this probiotic that I felt better and there was changes and I in the past I've done really expensive probiotics that were over a hundred dollars a product for the product and nothing happened so um, I was sort of excited about this so I did a little bit more research and I found this one today which was actually cheaper it was made by natural factors and I'm not doing an ad for them it has a 0.3 parts per billion of, of the particular thing that's called Bacillus subtilis, which is a particular strain that they used in the research project. And so um, to sum up, they gave probiotics to worms. Me being a guinea pig, I went and got the same probiotics and, I th and I'm noticing positive changes. And I thought I'd make a video just to state that. I'd be interesting if more people with Parkinson's who see this video um, try this if they feel inclined to do so and we can re report together on what happens. Again for me it's the, the probiotic is supposed to clear these alpha-synuclein clumps in the brain of the worms and hopefully that works and transfers to people. And that's been my experience is that my brain seems clearer and um, I think possibly what, the, what they don't notice in the research is what causes these clumps to occur and I think it's stress. I think when the body's in fight or flight it closes down and it's possible that it makes um, chemicals that make the stress not process through the brain so the person can focus more on tasks and stuff like that. In other words, when you're being chased, you don't want to be focusing on your taxes and other things, mental, so you you just go into fight or flight. and So the brain might produce these chemicals and it might cause the stress not to process through the brain so the person can survive temporarily. But if you're in this, stress mode for, like we are in modern day life for too long um, these clumps might occur and anyhow I'm noticing changes I can't 100% say it's because of the probiotics but I am noticing a change around the same time I introduced this into my regime so I thought I would just put it out there for others to know may I'll take care have a good day bye bye